This ain't just not great. Hmm. Well. Just to keep, we're on the play. We've got, we don't even have double blue in our resources. We've got two cantrips though. Yeah, I think this is, this is a mulligan. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep it. It's got turn three Fento on the play. And this doesn't have, it only has one color in it, but I don't really want a mulligan to five. Uh, I'm not planning to play any motor today. I'm, uh, I'm reasonably content with my cord list for the weekend, so I don't feel like putting up with any more magic online than I need to. Mine, my kid. Morning, new good night. So he's playing uh, a reanimator champion. Usually a little bit slow out of the gates, so like turn three Fento on the play is going to be. <clears throat> like, to be fair, we're more turning into like b sapphire blood control with splashing the green. Like, uh, another Fento is not great. This card's sweet, so those that haven't uh, played a lot of Hex or any Hex before, this card, um, it puts three Tarantula eggs into your opponent's deck when you, act when you activate it, and then whenever they draw a Tarantula egg, you get a 5-5 five five that kills one of their creatures. So he's playing the Blood Diamond uh, ramp deck, which means he has killed a Kilfenta, which is unfortunate, but we have another one to follow it up at least. We do need to run some resources off here at some point. That's not great. So unfortunately our opponent knows we're playing something weird because uh, he sees our avatar as Winter Moon. If he doesn't have another removal spell, that would be great. He has like Vampire King here. Living Toad, I'm sure. God, that's so savage. Alright, well this isn't working out. So if he was playing the the other Rutherford Banks deck is just like more of a ramp deck. So we can play that. Uh, I think I'm just going to ship the turn back here. Hopefully he plays another threat out here. Let's do this. Gets bonuses, right? He can pay three to give it different things. If he plays a second threat, I'm just going to extinction on my turn. He doesn't. Alright. Another Fento. Alright. I am just going to play another copy of this out. If he has a third removal spell, he has a third removal spell. His deck's got a lot of removal spells in it. And eventually we're just going to like draw a wild shard and then start shuffling Fentos back into my deck. Yeah, it has another one. Alright. How's it going, Zach? I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. You don't have counter magic or anything like that up, so maybe he's inclined to jam another threat, which he's not. Hey, Sapphire Shard's pretty good because it means counter magic is now online. So this, these buffs are permanent. So we're going to take our, our lick for three here, and then if he doesn't play another threat, I'm going to time ripple this at end step. Or we're just going to time ripple it now. Uh, you do probably have to plunk some dollars down if you want to get into playing the competitive PvP. Um, trying to grind the free stuff into the competitive PvP is a long time, long hard. I think, I think someone said like the most optimal way you can grind it's like two dollars an hour so like if you value your time any more than that it's probably worth just like plunking it down a little bit yeah that's fine all right so he must know that i'm playing a bunch of sweepers uh, another blood shard
All right. Well, I'm going to ripple this and a hope that he plays out two guys for this extinction. I guess I'll let him attack first. I don't think there's anything weird with haste in their deck. I might actually tag the vampire with counter magic on the way back down. Yeah, I'm going to do that because this way when he activates his uh, champion ability to reanimate something, I can extinction then. Soul marble's pretty good. Wild shard. All right, sweet. Pumped in the draws card, which is good. We've kind of been floundering here. Uh, that's kind of late. This is counters a non-troop card. Oh, that's so gross. So we don't have a ton of wild sources in the deck, but we've got enough that I probably should have hit one within the first, I don't know, 20 cards now. Nice, we're 18 cards in. All right, so that's gonna let him revive his vampire. So this card, uh, when he spends 10, man 10 resources into it, it can give all of his guys 2-2 two -two and uh, Hexproof, essentially. All right, well, we're going to cycle this back into our deck since we don't have any wild resources. Counter magic. I guess that one for one sim at least. Well, once we find a wild, we're going to... Uh, we're going to be able to... Use Winter Moon's ability a lot. Sure. So assuming he's turning it in. Yep, I've I uh, have only been playing Magic Online for you know the very little bits that I want. Yeah, the campaign mode is how you do the the PV. All right, that's actually pretty good. That's a good draw. Uh, we can Extinction here, and then Time Ripple returns any permanent to Stoner's Hand, so we can re return his card here, his Soul Ornaments, and then uh, Verdict of the Kings and on the way down. We just need to find some cards to draw cards at this point, or a Wild Shard to put our start cycling our Champion's ability back into our deck. Uh, yeah, we're going to Counter Magic that. Vampire Prince is one of his best cards against us, so... There's the Living Totem that he's had. So, wild shards are good, spells are good. And we drew not either of those. It's unfortunate. <sighs> See if you want to pump this up. Soul ornaments, so we take two less. We are taking a pretty heavy hit here. It's pretty unfortunate that we haven't drawn cards that draw cards or or wild shard. Hey, look, a wild shard. We're going to put, probably want the Extinction and the Sweeper bounce card back in my deck. Uh, Metronomy, like, you're, you're like, you're being super results based right now. Like, one game where it took us 20 or 22 cards to find one of our 10 wild resources in my deck, like, that's not, the, the, the deck function's fine, like. Like, that's probably, like, less than... I'd have to calculate it, but it's very, very low percentage to happen. And this isn't an artifact, so we can kill it with kill if we draw that. Put the two time ripples back in the deck because if I draw those, I can use them to bounce Living Totem here. 
So we're technically dead on board, but adaptable infusion device cycles on his turn. That's great, and I've uh, five one or I've I've five five one and five two my last three gauntlets with this deck. Hey, look at that. Unfortunately, we don't get to draw another card here because he has the stupid drown shrine out, so. Sometimes you flood out and die. And, like, that game wasn't just even about flooding out. Like, we had a probably close to average number of resources. That, that game was, like, the whole game was precedent on the fact that um, we didn't have a... Uh, we didn't have a wild shard until turn 12. So, mass poly's kind of expensive, but it's nice. Hey, is that illusion? So I brought in Verdicts, and I want definitely want the Nature's Range. Maybe I don't want all the Verdicts, just like one extra. I think I can grind him out with just Fento, like cut the Root Father. <laughs> What's one more cut here? I think if I'm bringing in Nature's Range, I can trim Time Ripple, perhaps. Yeah, let's try that. It's possible that trimming timer pulls wrong. Having bounce effects can be valuable. But like the bounce effects that game just like ate away at our hand because we were... This is very similar to Magic. I should link the article that I wrote underneath the stream. I'm gonna pull that up. Sapphire. Hey, Donatropia. So, for people wondering what Hex is, if you play Magic and follow the stream for that, yeah, look, Salution found the link before I did. Good man. Good man, Charlie Brown. Alright, another kill is not bad. This is going to get our second blood. And then, so long as we find our first wild within the first, I don't know, 12 to 15 cards, instead of waiting until we get 22, we'll probably be fine. You can't even inquisition us here. Yep, living totem, don't really care about that. So we're going to play our second sapphire shard out to get counter magic on land, so we have counter magic and kill up. Ship the turn, probably just like eating this hit from the living totem and then counter magicking whatever his follow up is. It's possible this follow up is just like Vampire Princess, we just kill that instead of, instead of burning counter magic. He just passed this here, that's pretty good for us. Frost Wizard, if I'm to avoid it instead. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'd rather just kill that because he probably doesn't have four of those. I'd rather save counter magic for something that's a four of. Blood out. What do you mean is the sound off? Um, sometimes I get, uh, I'm not dropping that many frames. Like, is the audio not in sync with my... Yes, we are playing a control deck. Be careful, bud. I see you standing. Be careful. My youngest just started cruising on things. That's been fun. So, I 